Yo, I know a lot of people, they don't like when people make videos and, um, hold on, let me put this on my door. They don't like when people make videos on this, like, vertical shit. <laughs> but I like recording videos like this, all right? So, basically, bro, this is my, probably gonna be a short video because I'm about to go to school, but I just wanted to talk about how these demons are jumping bodies, bro. I don't know if I already made a video about that, but it's still happening. So we could still talk about it. The camera just made me darker. I don't know why, but I'm out of breath, if y'all could tell. I just got done hitting like 40, 60 animal push-ups. I don't know how many it was. It was 40 to 60. But these demons are jumping bodies, bro. It's jumping in your, your bosses, the teachers, your friends, your family, shit nigga they, they could jump in you if it, if you let it bro these these demons these entities these other spirits sometimes they want to they want to take you off your path they want to control you essentially so i've noticed also that people in the matrix bro the a lot of these people they are npcs and they're not conscious to the level that we are which makes them susceptible, receptive, even if you want to say, to be um, the host for these entities, these these spirits. Um, last week, I was trying to manifest a job. People kept on asking me, Duncan, why did you quit the play? Duncan, why did you quit the play? Are you still in the play? This girl that's on my team asked me, why did I quit? Or she's not even in the play. She's not even in the play. So we're running, right? And she turns around and she asks me, she's like, hey, Duncan, are you still in that play or in the musical or whatever? And I said, nah, I'm trying to get a job. And she, bro, she took, bro, while I'm saying this, bro, like while I'm saying it, like I'm in the middle of saying it, like at first she was like this. She just went straight. She just kept going straight. I was like, I was like, what the fuck? Like in my head, I'm like, what the fuck? Why did she even ask me that? Like, bro, these... Bro, these people, they could just, they fucked up my manifestation. I'm pretty sure this is a real thing. I've heard of people, don't, don't tell people what you're up to. I told about at least like five to seven people, bro. Not all of them were from school, but like a few people were parents or whatever. Then um, one was like my steps. I think, I think I told him my stepsister. I don't remember. And then I told a few friends, but most of the time, I'm pretty sure almost all the time, if it wasn't like family or my mom, it was because somebody was asking me something. So they were like asking me these things and it's fucking up my manifestation, bro. You're not supposed to tell people what the hell you're working on. You're not supposed to tell people that. So anyways, bro, these demons, they will hop in people's bodies, bro. And they'll just start trying to provoke you. Like the the people they won't even, they they might not even realize what the hell they're doing, or they might just get randomly driven to do this. Like people get gang stalked even, or they get um, they mess with this one person and then this person they just have like this vendetta against them, like this they just they just need to fuck up their life, they just need to to to, to perform spiritual what to participate in spiritual warfare against them, so. I'm going to give a few examples of these entities hopping in people's bodies. This is, for example, say like for family or friends, y'all are cool, bro, straight cool. And then I, this could also be the real them coming out. But a lot of the time it's entities. They will hop in their body and they'll say some outworldly shit that'll hit your soul, like some shit that family or, or a friend is not supposed to say. And it'll just hit your soul. And you're like. Like, it hits you because you're like, what the, like, why would you even say that to me, bro? And it's because an entity of spirit hopped in them. They don't even, like, they don't care that they just said that to you. They don't see it as wrong, bro. They don't see it as wrong. So, that's, that's an example, like, people lashing out on you that you were cool with, bro. But another example is people you don't even know. I was just watching a video and... This is where I got inspired because this, I was watching a video on why people stare at me or why people stare at us. And it was like the guy said, like, I already knew this, but this is what like he was like, these entities, they hop in and they want you to react to them. 
And that's when I just started remembering like all the, I remembered every other time. For example, one time I was in school, right? And I think this girl used to look at me. I'm not too sure. But anyways, we left the class. We're going to lunch and I'm walking And this. I almost called her a B word, but I don't even feel like using that word right now. But this girl, she stepped on the back of my slide about five times in a row, bro. About five times in a row. You can say whatever you want. You can say, bro, you should have turned around and smacked that. You should have just said something. You should have. You would have. I don't give a shit, bro. Because I, I could see it, bro. I could see what the, like, that, sh- that shit is weird. I, it doesn't make any sense to me, bro. It's like, outwork- why are you doing that? Like, even when I step on somebody's shoes on accident, I say, my bad. You got to have something different in you. You just be walking around, stepping on a specific person's shoes for no reason over and over again. I even turned around, looked at her, and I said something, my nigga. And she still, she still did it. But she, nigga, it got me mad. If this was a dude, bro, it would have probably escalated even further. It would have probably escalated because I'm like, what the, yo, what the fuck are you doing? Like, it's a nigga, like, what the fuck? Like, I'll really, like, we could fight. I'm not trying to fight and just hit a swing on a girl or push a girl in the middle of the hall. That's going to get my life fucked over. And everybody in the school is going to be like, oh, this guy's a woman or something, whatever. Anyways. But another example, man. This was like a a few couple, couple, couple months ago. I don't know. But anyway, um, we're like on a test day. We're not really doing anything. So we're just sitting in this class. Right. And so this girl walks in and she sits right behind me. And dude, when you're see people that talk about seeing all these, seeing auras and other entities and this and ancestors, I haven't seen that. I haven't connected with my spirit guys. Not that I know of or ancestors, but I do, my intuition is up there, bro, I could see intention in every, every doing, bro, I could tell by the way somebody steps around me, that they're thinking about me, bro, in the way that you step, I could tell what you're thinking, so, this girl, bro, she sits behind me, right, and she starts, bro, eventually she starts fucking kicking my chair, like, she's just doing this shit, like, just old, just, just, she's just sitting there, just kicking it, bro, And I'm like, I'm just chilling. Like, I'm focused on myself. I'm like looking for knowledge or something. I don't remember what I was doing. But in my head, I'm like, yo, what? Like, because these aren't normal humans, bro. These aren't normal people. No normal. Nobody like me is going to just be kicking somebody's chair for no reason. That's not normal. (laughs) That's not normal. So she's just sitting here kicking my chair for a minute straight. Then she would stop. And then she would start again. And I didn't even want to give her the attention, bro, because it wasn't worth it. I didn't want to. What is that going to do? Because then what if she starts, what if she keeps on doing it? What am I going to do? Tell the teacher, be like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? Like, just wasting my energy or like, because it doesn't even, it doesn't really bother me unless I'm feeling it in my physical. It doesn't really bother me. It bothers me the fact that, like, why? Like, why are you doing that? Like, what drives you to just, just do this? You're not, you're not. That's not normal. Like, you know what I mean? Like a lot of people, these these people lack empathy, human decency. It's weird. Another thing is, bro, some entities will hop in a in a, a female's body and they'll wanna fuck you. Like some some of them they just wanna fuck, but like some of them like they'll they'll <laughs> it'll be like they're trying to they're trying to R you, bro. The R word. Like that actually happened to me. I'm gonna make a video about that. I don't know if I already did. I don't think I did. Yeah, I didn't make a video about that, but I'm going to make another video about that as well. But yeah, I got to get I got to go take a shower for school. So I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm out.